Hi, I'm Mark Thorburn and welcome back to Lean Video Production. Today we're going to look at the different abilities of DSLRs and professional camcorders and where they fit into a lean video production. As a prospective lean filmmaker, every purchasing decision is critical. You know that you're going to have to part with some of your well-earned cash, but which kit will give you the best return? In this part of Lean Video Production, we'll look at DSLRs and camcorders and highlight the benefits of each and any drawbacks for operating stealthily. Lean Production isn't just about keeping costs down, it's about being able to operate without the large crew that traditional filmmaking has entailed. First things first, the love affair with DSLR filmmaking is well justified. The versatility offered by using an interchangeable lens system and a large sensor for a tiny fraction of a high-end big budget film camera price has meant that we can now do so much more with the creative look of our footage than we traditionally could with a camcorder. So does this mean that the camcorder is dead in the water? Absolutely not, and when filtered through the lean production decision making process, you have a difficult choice to make. Rest assured, if you already have one, but not the other, both are up to the job. They just have to be used in different ways. Let's start by looking at professional camcorders. This is the Canon XF100 professional camcorder. It's a low to mid-priced professional camcorder and representative of the type of kit available to the professional looking for an ergonomically friendly system that will be effective in various shooting scenarios. Unlike the DSLR camera option, this is designed from the word go to shoot moving images and capture professional sound. In a lean operation where speed can be essential, you know that you can power this type of equipment up, point it at your subject and you should get professional results without too much messing around. The lenses on these types of camcorders are not interchangeable. You're pretty much stuck with what you get, aside from some lens adapters that can broaden their capabilities slightly. What this means is that the lens provided has to work hard, and it does. Most professional camcorders of this type will offer you a reasonably long zoom and a wide enough angle to fit most scenarios, unless you're working especially close to your subject. The autofocus system, when used sensibly, offers a realistic option, particularly in an ever-changing situation like a live event. If you're working solo and filming yourself, most come with a type of screen that will flip and allow you to see what you're recording so that you can frame yourself easily. The audio recording capability is again designed from the ground up to be professional and adaptable. You have built-in microphones and professional connectivity including mounting for shotgun microphones and phantom power to ensure full compatibility. Using our lean production filter, this type of professional camcorder is a real asset. However, it can have creative limitations. If all you were ever looking to produce was new style presentations or documentary films, then you'd be fine. I've used it for just this purpose and it's a great workhorse. But what if you're looking to produce more than that? Well, just because the camcorder doesn't have interchangeable lenses doesn't mean that you can't use it creatively and achieve stunning results. There can be a division between pro camcorder filmmakers and DSLR filmmakers. This is nonsense. The two types of cameras just have to be used differently. Yes, you can get beautiful narrow depth of field with a fixed lens camcorder, and yes, a DSLR can be adapted to improve its functionality for the filmmaker. There's a place for both, and when operating as a lean production, I use both. So where does the DSLR come in? As a creative tool, the filming options for these cameras has grown and grown to the point where they're a favoured option for many producers and directors. But in our lean setup, just how appropriate are they? It's easier to list the things that a DSLR can't do over its camcorder cousin than those it can. It's less well ergonomically designed for filming. It's more difficult to focus, especially in a live and fluid situation. Most have poor audio recording and monitoring facilities, and from a pick it up and go point of view, compared to the professional camcorder on its own, you can't. But, and it's a big but, it offers better low light capability due to its bigger sensor and it has the flexibility of interchangeable lenses. These together mean that you can create beautiful and filmic narrow depth of field with the right glass stuck to the front. Plus, all of its ergonomic deficiencies can be overcome with additional equipment and alternative audio systems, which obviously come at a price. As the whole point of this course is lean video production, one reassuring conclusion is that both a professional camcorder and a DSLR 
can be operated and delivered to suit our requirements. You can use a DSLR system for your production and still get excellent audio quality. And you can use a fixed lens camcorder and achieve RT depth of field. If you can stretch to both in your arsenal, all well and good. The camcorder will answer your run and gun requirements and the DSLR will give you all of the artistic focus and low light operation that you could ever desire. But this is about lean operation and the great news is that the line is not drawn in the sand. Next time on Lean Video Production, we're covering which DSLR lenses to have in your kit bag to give you the best return in a lean operation. Thanks for watching.